Hello and welcome to the homework for lesson 14. We're in grade 2 and this is module 3. Write your name first. And now we're whisper talking the numbers and words as you fill in the blanks. 16 equals 110 six ones. 16 equals 16 ones. So just think about it. If you're using place value discs, how many ones is it going to take to make 16? If you can only use ones, it'll take 16 of them. If you use tens and ones, you can use a ten and six ones. 217. If we can use all hundreds, tens and ones, we can use everything. We can do it with two hundreds. One ten and seven ones. If we can only use, if we can't use any tens, we can only use hundreds and ones, then we can use two hundreds and we'd have to use seventeen ones to make it. Three hundred twenty. If we could use all the different place values, we could use three hundreds and two tens and we wouldn't need any ones. But if we do, couldn't use any tens, we could only use tens. Well, what if we can only use tens and ones? We can't use any hundreds. Well, let's see. For three hundreds, maybe it comes to you pretty easily. But if you're looking at that, three hundreds, each hundred takes ten tens to make one hundred, right? But we have three hundreds here, so you're going to need ten. 20, 30 tens to make three hundreds. So that's 30 tens. But then we also have these two tens here. So that's two more tens. So you could do it with 32 tens and zero ones. 139, you could do with 100 three tens and nine ones. But what if you could only use tens and ones? Well, that hundred is ten tens, and that three is three more tens. So ten tens and three tens, thirteen tens. You can kind of see the number thirteen there. So it's thirteen tens, and you'd still need nine ones to get that nine in. For 473, that's four hundreds. Just like in an HTO chart, you can still draw them. You got plenty of room over here to draw these. Four hundreds, seven tens, three ones. Now, if we can't use hundreds, we're only talking tens and ones. By now, you've seen enough of these to know that you can use, you can look at those digits and see 47 tens. Because you know you need. For each hundred, you need ten tens. So there's four of them there. So that's right. You've got four hundreds, uh, 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 uh. and so each one of those is ten tens. So it's ten, twenty, thirty, forty tens, and then the seven more that's there, forty-seven tens, and you still need those three ones. Six hundred eighty, six hundreds, eight tens. Right, if you put that in a HTO chart, you'd have your six hundreds and your eight tens. You'd have zero ones, so you don't need any ones. And that's sixty eight tens. Eight hundred seventeen, we can do that with eight hundreds, and without any tens, we have to do all the rest of it in ones. So that's, you'd have to use 17 single one disks to add up to 17, 817 ones. It's a bit of a puzzle. So that's hundreds and ones. But if we did it with not with just tens and ones, then we could use 81 tens and seven ones. And here's our last example for that. 921, if you put it in the HTO chart. Nine, 
you've got nine hundreds. And the rest is going to be in ones, so you're going to need to make all 21 of that in ones. But if we did it all in tens, then we'd need 10 tens for every hundred. So that would be 90 tens. You could count it. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Oh, for every hundred, that's nine hundreds. 10 tens is 90 tens. You need 90 tens. And then 90 tens. Oh, but then you have the two here also. So you could do those, add those into the other tens. You have 92 tens. So let me fix that. We need 92 tens. And then we can just have one one. And then we have another skip counting exercise. Write down how you can skip count by 10, by 10, from 350 to 240. So this is counting backwards by tens. You might use place value disks, number lines, bundles, or numbers. So I'm going to use a number line. You could do this with you could do this with bundles and cross out. You could do it with place value disks and cross out tens. But if we're gonna start at three hundred fifty and we're gonna go backwards by tens to two hundred forty. So this is minus ten. 340. So you might see right now I'm going to have to do this about 10 more times. 330. And if you're wondering why you have to put up with this and why you have to do this exercise, it's just to get better at counting backwards and forwards with large numbers. It's just getting more and more comfortable with working with these large numbers. We have to expand our that's 320. We have to expand our ability to work with larger numbers. And this is just how you do it. This is how you practice it. 310, and now we get down to 300. It's 290. 280. 270, 260, I'm going to have to make my line a little bit longer here. Oops, didn't mean to erase the whole thing. Uh, 200, use this whole page here. I'm almost there. 250. Now we're at 240. So if you use this method, you have to have these labels here underneath the line of where your hops landed you. You have to have those, and you have to have these labels here up above the minus 10s. You have to have both of them. And uh, give yourself plenty of room down here, because it's hard when you're when you have a, a lot of numbers to write down, uh, underneath like this. They tend to get all crowded together. So just do the best you can. Keep the line as long as you can. Start all the way on the left and move to the right 